Well, hello, 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 and uh, welcome back to Demonicon. Uh, probably only going to be playing this for about an hour. Um, or ten minutes. But either way, yeah, we took this, didn't we? Either way... Oh, 17,000? I need to be buying stuff. What do I want? More health, right? I'll just take more health. Uh, what's the next upgrade? Because I'm three or five twenty-nine. Oh yeah, I need about one and a half thousand, don't I? Uh, be able to finish this off and uh, figure out what it is we're doing exactly afterwards. Not sure yet. <laughs> Sorry. Why does it give me stuff to sit by the way? Looks like I have to rearrange the sentences correctly. Oh, go on. Bond marriage is a challenge. Through the desire to be lived in. No, I don't know. Like, it would be really nice if you didn't. Throw in the other ones that I've already fucking clicked on. Yeah, the one that manages this challenge only through the desire to live in. No, because the problem is. Like, if it has to end with a full stop, then it's either that or that which is last. 
But it could also be that. It could be that. I mean, it won't be that one, but... Um... The one marriage is a challenge and if you have a desire to live in... Probably the bond of marriage is a challenge not to be entered into out of love. Does it have its justification for the faithful? It should. No. It should only through no. It should not be entered into out of love is the only thing that makes sense. It should do it should the bond, it should only through. Yeah, so it has to be in, it should not be entered into out of love. The bond of marriage is a challenge for the faithful, it should not be entered into out of love. Only through the desire to live in does it have its justification, and no, eternal competition doesn't make sense. Oh. The one emerges as a challenge for the faithful, it should not be entered into out of love, it does have its justification only through the desire to live in eternal competition. Probably makes the most sense. The bottom marriage is the bottom marriage is a challenge not to be entered into out of love. Ah, oh, no, fuck. See, if it's not fucking moving around, mm, nothing. then I have to do it in order anyway, so I got that Looks wrong like regardless. Oh boy. Right, so. What am I thinking? The Pond of Marriage is a challenge. For the faithful, it should not be entered into out of love. Only through the desire to live in does it have a justification. Yeah, no, but where the fuck does eternal competition come from? No, no, I mean. No, no, does it have a justification? Only through the, oh my god, let me take a fucking photo of this and put numbers next to what I think it should be. Otherwise, I'm never gonna get this. With, with, it, with it fucking moving shit around, it is not gonna be. Doable. And that's what I think it is. Bond of marriage. It's one. Oh no, I've already forgotten. Bond of marriage is a challenge. Well, the faith well, it should not be entered into out of love. Only through the desire to live in. Oh. Ah! Why is it that I think that I have the answer then? As soon as I fucking look at it again, I'm just like, uh, do I do know? Anyway, I'm fairly certain it's that. Oh, God.
Oh, so I'm like a Like, you know if you used proper grammar, you could probably fucking figure this out. But having to basically take a fucking guess. Looks like I have to like 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 if things actually had a fucking um, capitals for the beginning of sentences then you can obviously has that a guess. Like for an example, eternal competition being lowercase, potentially after this would make sense. Because obviously full stop. Oh go on. Because it could be a tone of competition, the bond of marriage is a challenge, but because there's no fucking karma. Like, if, if you're gonna do puzzles, like you. and. and um, word based puzzles, where you could make shit make sense, you've gotta use fucking grammar. Because otherwise, sentence structure just goes out the fucking window. And it could be anything. I mean, if you want to make it grammatically correct, well not grammatically, but if you want to make it make sense, full stop, it should, eternal competition doesn't make any sense, it should the bond of marriage, it should does it, it should only through, yeah, I mean, it should, comma, only through the desire to live in, could make sense, but see, it should not be entered into out of love, kind of makes sense, what makes the most sense to me. So I feel like it should not be entered into out of love is correct. The bond of marriage is a challenge for the faithful, it should not be entered into out of love. Oh no, through the desire to live in yeah, that's what I did last time. The bond of marriage is a challenge only through the desire to live in eternal competition does have its justification not to be entered into out of love for the faithful. No. Oh no, for the faithful it should not be, I guess I can do it that way. Uh, fuck me, what did I just say? So the bond of marriage is a challenge. I'm no oh, fuck me, I'm just gonna fuck him up so far, aren't I? Process. I'm just gonna look this up because you know if I look it up and I basically got it correct but I was just like one off from it making sense and then fuck it I'm looking this up I'm not sitting there when you're not gonna get some backwards fucking broken European man who doesn't understand fucking English type this crap out This game's gonna crash as it always fucking does. Hmm? Never mind, it's a silly one. Just press the numbers in the order of the sentence making sense. I could have figured that out more. I could have fucking figured that out.
that do it? Maxima. I have never had a role model that you should have. Like time one Eat my ass. No. Oh no. Six twenty and then I'm gonna max out. What makes a true believer? <laughs> How are the deserving members of the community to be raised above the others? Should there in the future be ordination for believers who rise above the laity? Should one obtain priestly office by means of a sacrament? Order is part of Orberland's tradition. Through it, the human spirit can force the essence of chaos to its needs. The fellowship will only follow those that it has itself into office, and they will appoint those who have made outstanding contributions through spirit and power. Zirak did not fail because his church had offices, but because you could find them. But with a solemn coordination, this too can be overcome. That is why there must be a hierarchy in the new church. It will illustrate the principle and the superiority of mind. And that is why we need the... Our spirit conquers the chaos, but only when we fight. With more complicated hierarchy and ceremonial ordinations, this source of renewal will dry up. Zeran once tried and failed because there were offices, and also because the arbitrary distribution allowed corruption to eat its way into the ranks of the things. One becomes a leader solely through their own ability and desire, not through the permission of others. 
That is why we have no need of the sacrament of ordination. No, I mean, I have made my Overadian priests shall in future be ordained by the fellowship. The hierarchy will bend for the church. So be it. May the Thanks, giant wizard man. Should newborns be baptized in the master's name? Should their souls in death really fall to the master? I mean, it's not like that would happen all too often. It cannot start teaching each other early enough. It must therefore be brought into the fellowship of the faithful quickly. A baptized child is more likely to be brought up as the master would wish. That way, the virtues of freedom, spirit, and discipline become more deeply internalized, and great power is attained more quickly. As Borberian, the child's parents will be dealing with demons. It will be difficult for them to protect the child from their influence. But in his divinity, the master will know how to protect the child, and ignore this. That is why. Newborn should be baptized. They can make the final decision later. So be it. Three down, four to go. Hello. Chiron, my people have found the man who raised us. We know now in which torture chamber Azaril holds him captive. You can't beat good people. Maybe I underestimated your rebels. What is yours is also mine, beloved. And his rescue will make you happy. Let's get going. Or do you have any more questions first? My people will distract yeah, 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 yeah. you. Just fucked up the Secret entrance.
I'm gonna get one. Can I have this one? Huh? Chance critical hit. And you get two points per chance. So more like go for them since much twenty two percent, so 32% crit chance per hit. Not bad then. Your eye. I have another one. Same as with my leg. I heard you fighting and casting spells. Hello, Mr. Melissa. You've really practiced since my last lesson. Casting spells, I bitch. I did not cast a single spell. I'm glad you're the one who came to get me. Father, it's nice to see you again. What do you want? To show your generosity and welcome me as one of your religious warriors? We offer you our help, old man. Take it or leave it. She showed do. me, Calandra. You have become Sigal's daughter. Your gift makes you Azaril's creature and a tool of the demon. The two of us saved you. Without her, you might not have had any eyes or legs left. Then at least I wouldn't have to see this. I won't stand for this any longer! Chiron, bring this old fool to our camp! Maybe there he'll listen to reason! Take this for the pain. Thank you, my son. What did Azaril want from you? Did she take your eye just for revenge? First, she said, I should see clearly. 
She described to me how greedily Calandra had absorbed her lessons, and how she began to accept Sigal as her father. Then she said that all knowledge has its price, and that the price must be commensurate. Then she took my eye. So much vengefulness after all these years. There's one thing I never told you. I was too ashamed. Azaril and I were once lovers. Oh, you were touching kids? What? I left the clover for her. My friends, Fergalosh and Perel. Even back then, she worshipped Borbarat. I didn't care. I loved her. But she never really opened up to me. She always backed away yes. at the last second. I thought she was playing with me, that she wanted to challenge me. But with every step that I followed her, she withdrew from me still further. Before my love, she fled ever deeper into Borboradianism. Finally, she used Segal to get rid of me. Maybe she thought she had no choice. Did she take Segal as her lover? Worse. She used the ritual in which your gifts were created. She had us take part in a great competition whose prize she kept secret. She said it was to find out who amongst us was the best. I thought it was for her love. But when Sigal and I finally faced one another, she revealed the truth. The final battle between him and me never took place. And instead? Seven children from seven virgins. Someone had to sire them. Sigal and I obeyed. It was only later I realized that she had thereby rejected me once and for all. That realization led me to steal you. And now... She has taken her revenge for it. Chiron, get me out of here. I can't go on any longer. Don't worry, father. Let's hurry. Father... Freed. Thirteen damage blunt weapon. I mean, this is doing five more damage, so... Oh, the Steel Virgin. Hey, how you doing? I saw that, that axe is based after me. And? Is the traitor now free? Azaril has taken one of his eyes. What did you have to do with that? I have not spoken to Azaril since the revolution began. Oh, me. And even if I had done so, the price is a matter between me and the traitor. But take heart. Three seals are waiting for you. Confession, initiation, flesh and blood. Which would you like to learn something about? Well, oh. Just tell me what I should expect. Alright, I need the bloody gems, don't I? Where's Sanic when you bloody well need him? And where are the green chaos emeralds?
Ich dachte, ja, wir bin nicht über Riese. Boah, die bin ich überhaupt zu. Kinda looks funny running like that. Well, you know. Not everyone can run in a suit of armor without shit in their pants. So much AP. Um, so what can I level up? I don't even know what they actually do. AT and PA. Increases the effectiveness of offensive combat moves. Does that mean my... If it means like this... And if it meant it did more damage... Then hell yeah, I'd be leveling that shit up. Alright. But is the AP useful? Uh, AP is what you use to level up. It's basically your XP. But I don't know what AP stands for. Or GP. GP is my uh, doctor. But yeah. So, so pretty much in this game, everything that you do will give you XP. And you spend that XP, obviously, to level up. So for an example, obviously, max leveling, blacksmith, lockpicking, haggling, uh, so on and so forth. Um, so like that guy you just saw me heal, I got like 200 XP out of doing it. And when you're leveling up your skills, so medicine is what you need, to heal one guy, to then get 200 XP for it, that would basically give you enough points to put like two levels in leveling medicine. And same with haggling. So obviously you talk to a shopkeep, you press the trade button, you automatically get the haggle. Um, so what you would do is, or what I did is, I would haggle two shopkeeps, which would give me enough points to get a free level, and a free entire level, because you have to put four points to gain a rank, I should say. Then I would haggle them again, because obviously I've got a new level, so I get more discount. So I get more XP, so you basically just max level haggle basically by doing absolutely fucking nothing. Um, and same thing with medicine, there was a um, swamp that you go to in the game and there's obviously a lot of ill people just lying around. So you just walk up to the medicine, 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 and then you can just like max level medicine pretty quickly. Um, so that's, that's pretty much what it's for, and because obviously I've got max everything here. So basically what... so... Here's what you're supposed to do in this game, as you're probably well aware how all games work, is you're meant to use your XP to level up um, health points, attack points, endurance, magic, um, buy maybe some blacksmith, maybe some medicine, maybe buy some um, moves you can use, and then magic. Magic is its own thing, so you just ignore that. But because the entire game I just max leveled um, my actual abilities that give me more free XP for doing absolutely nothing. Um, I've basically played this entire game at like basically level 1 in terms of my base damage and my health. Like I always had the lowest amount of health and most enemies would like fucking 3 shot me. And it was really annoying. Um, but because I was focusing on this, because like I said this would just get me more XP, 
I can now basically just boost the other living shit out of the stats that I want. Uh, like for example, I kind of obviously want to level up. Um, he is crit chance. No, which one's crit chance? Oh right, yeah, this one's crit chance. Yeah, I want to level up crit chance, which will take it up to 32% per hit. That's kind of like spending souls. Yeah, basically. Except, imagine in Dark Souls, obviously if you open up a door with a key, it then goes, here's some souls. Oh, you talked to an NPC and asked a question. Here's some more souls. So yeah, like say, heal healing people and doing blacksmith stuff, you got a crap ton of um, XP out of it. Now, XP out of plants, it adds up eventually, but you don't get shit out of them. Like plants, you just get plant level times two. So obviously if the plant level is five, times it by two, that's how much XP you get, and it's not worth upgrading at, at all. <clears throat> Um, like I like I say, that was a level seven. You get fifteen out of it. So like I say, it's basically level times two. Um, and like I say, when haggle basically upgrades itself, when you do nothing, medicine also upgrades itself. It's kind of a joke um, how quickly you can level certain skills up. Oh yeah, is there even bloody um, side quests here? Because there's a bloody side quest board, but there's nothing I can do with it. Only oh, now we have. Oh, wrong old. Oh, God. Oh, it helps to actually not choke on your tea. I've been on this earth for 26 years and I don't have to swallow tea. need to just find a random fucking book. Lovely. Well, one had a blue skull, one had a somewhat decrepit one. Oh, critical hit. Oh, critical hit. 
Actually, if that stacks with my already crit, then it kind of makes sense that I'm getting a lot of crits here. <clears throat> so no, you can't be mad that I'm getting crits. I have actually buffed my crit rate, so... Because that move already has, I think, like a 30% chance to crit, and then if it applies the 18% whatever on top, by the time I'm done, this move will be critting at like 60% something like that. So you can't get mad at that one when you've got like 60% crit, right? Thanks for walking in on that, dumbass. Could you stop dodging? Thank you. Yeah, just by standing next to that guy, he can just burn you. <clears throat> can I walk? No, I can't. And then the other three panels will be over there. Three eighty-four. Right, how many levels? Seven more levels on that. Uh, that means I'm gonna need about... Probably about 2,000, 2,200 XP. He's a born leader, intelligent, strong, and beautiful. Thus spoke the master. I guess I'll just see if I need to pick up every sort of boat. to answer this arbitrary puzzle. High prophetess, the arrogance, as if she herself was the guardian of forbidden knowledge. No, the secret of breaking pacts belongs to all the master students. Are there any books up above them? Probably. Now let me just arbitrarily drop these fucking books and just hope that I'm right.
That was correct. Yay me. Well done. I solved the puzzle that had pretty much no answer. Like, the only answer you had was the skulls. And what's the closest thing that those skulls represented? That one was blue, so it must have been ice, and that one... The other one mentioned some accident in the book or some bullshit, so it's like, yep, I'll just pick those. Oh, this is where the um, ceremony took place. So this is where the three virgin mothers were, and this is where all the babies were placed. And obviously this is where him, his sister, and the other people we've met were. Until someone stole us. Less creepy than it was in the uh, opening cutscene. Hey guys. Don't. That's what I wanted to prevent. But my motherfucker can't hit anyone to save a goddamn life. It's always the big guys that just fucking dodge every one of your goddamn attacks, it's kind of annoying. Nope. 
Nope, that, that isn't even remotely the guy that I wanted to aim at, but thanks. That's my quest done. I still got two more to do. No, get rid of this asshole first. No, get rid of this asshole first, because like, he's gonna fucking set shit on me. I don't want him to. Yep, that's also the thing that I was aiming at. Thank you. for the final side quest. And then I just need one of the gems going. Should also be every side quest in the game. Man is injured, come here. Yeah, like I say, 267 AP just for clicking on a man. Also, the game keeps giving me money and shit to sell. And there's literally nothing I can do with it. There's nowhere to buy anything, there's nowhere to sell anything. Well, there is one place, but the guy's out of fucking money.
Can you jump through the door or nope? I wonder what's in that one. Not bad for me though. Only practice. Oh. You succeeded. Only practice. You succeeded. Only practice may. You succeeded. I win. Mean. Thirty two percent models by thinking it thirty percent, so I'd be at sixty two percent crit chance potentially.
Well, those are the last three things to input. And then... Woman's room. I'll have to fight woman to get the last one or what. And then I'm assuming we'll have to fight big demon man. Big beady man. Uh, which one's which? We need a sacrament of initiation. Full fledged men mm. should be brought in without jeopardizing the church's authority. So be it. And the last one.
was created by Belkin, the arch demon of black rot and lust. The wine draws its power from the vitality of the people caught in its vines. In this respect, it resembles the master's teachings, as does the wine. The faithful use the power inherent in life force to cast spells. Is the wine suitable as a symbol of the rituals of the new church? Should it become an integral part and perhaps even replace blood sacrifice? Only rarely will leaves of blood suffice to cast powerful magic. Sooner or later, he will turn to the blood of his fellow men. Who can maintain their balance in the rush of power? How many sacrifices are enough? A hundred? A thousand? A thousand? Black wine is an apt symbol, and it grows wherever it is planted. It would be unwise to make enemies. Moreover, what is the life of my person? The master himself employed the demon's useful powers for his... I have... Black vine is a useful plant. It is to be used in the rituals of the new church. So be it. Six, seven, seven. Hello, sister. Hello, wife. Chiron, good thing I found you. Azrael is attacking again more violently than ever before. She's retaliating for father's liberation. Whatever the reason, we don't have time. We have to defend the camp. My people are badly injured. A scout reported that Azrael will send new troops this way. Troops she rose magically. But the scout died before he could describe them. I'll pull my people together on the other side of the camp. Maybe we can hold the eastern gate this way. So I will expect these new troops here. Alone. I... I don't want to abandon you, but I can split up my troops. And if there's anyone who has a chance to defend the western gate, then it's you. Please, Chiron. Please, Obi Wan. Last hope. If you want me. To you mean I'm going to let others do the dirty work for me? Surrender to the force of the gift. Take my two bodyguards. Woo. The, you know they're gonna die, right? Goodbye, man A and man B. I'm not gonna bother selling your fucking name. You're gonna be dead in like three seconds. Oh, would you look at that. Unsurprisingly, I can fend off all this bullshit on my own, but these two fuckers... You fucker. No, why are you hitting him? Hit him. You... Ugh.
We held them off. Thank you, Chiron. A thousand thanks. So many dead. But they bought us some time. They knew the risk, and they died for a good cause. Thank you for standing by me. I... Um. I wish it were easier for us. I know, That's sister. Immaterial. I can't wait until we get married. hope of defending our camp. Or storming Azrael's camp. Do you realize what that means, Chiron? It's not the first time we've stood with our backs to the wall. We'll figure something out. There's a card we haven't played yet. Segal. You think his knowledge could save us? I will go see him. He Good. Azarul herself guards the very last seal in the monastery's inner sanctum. Even my gift cannot get us there. The only... The camp will remain a safe haven for you. In the meantime, I'll pull everyone together who can still stand. But when we fight this battle, it will be... Will be the most violent of them all? No, not violent. Are you gonna make? Mm. So you make me fight a battle all the way over there to run all the way over here to have a five-second conversation to run all the way fucking back again. Video games. Why bother having him stand over there where he originally stood at the beginning of this section? No, 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 no. Let's have this fucker stand all the way back over here next to the sodding things I activated earlier. Wait, if you make me run back. Segal, we need your help. Azaril has overrun the rebels. A counterattack would shatter the survivors. We'll never get the seventh seal. You need an army. A mighty army, right? It is your fight too. Now finally do something. It is good. I want to help you. But I'll have to demand something of you first. This is a damned poor time. I have done much for you. Remember that, Chiron. The more pressing your time is, the more valuable the boon I ask. And the quicker you do what I want, the quicker you owe me nothing, if that is what you wish. That is just sick. As sick as love always is, a leader needs to learn that, and it makes me proud to see how quickly you learn. Still, I want this favor, then you shall have your army. Fine, what should I do? You will get me some demonic acid. It is in the crypt under the master's statue. And I won't find out why I'm doing this until later. Accept this uncertainty, or the certainty that Azarel will destroy you. Um, no she won't, because if I actually went to fight her, also nice face, if I actually went to fight her, this would be all over in a jiffy. So now I'm going to run back out there, you know, the location that I just fucking ran through, to come back in here to probably run fucking back again. Is it really hard for to ask developers, hey, so, um, you know you're gonna make me run through this location like 12 times, right? Yeah. Do you not see what I'm getting at here? No. Okay.
Non, j'ai fait rien. Six twenty. chance I shall have um, and then after that I guess I would just buff this because it will only go up to 17 oh. but I have to have that at 12 because there's only a 5 point difference If I even get that far with XP stuff. I've got what you wanted. Excellent. Now for the second part of your task. Second part? That wasn't part of the deal. Does that surprise you, Chiron? He is a Borberadian. It is his duty to betray you. I heard that you came back, after all these years. Your screams of pain still sound the same as ever. You stole my daughter, and now you want to play my son off against me. She is my daughter. You are the kidnapper. I wanted to save her soul, and now she's only here because you are forcing her. She chose me, voluntarily, because I didn't patronize her and lie to her for her whole life because I love her for what she really is and what she will become. Her and Chiron. You're fighting over Calandra while her camp may be overrun at any moment. Segal, I got you the acid. Now finally tell me how I can raise the Akaz. Two tasks. That is my condition. Not the least because I helped you to free this traitor. You? You? I distracted Azara's attention. I thereby determined the time for the rescue. I wanted to exact the price later, but apparently Azaril has done it for me. I offered them an idea which had to fascinate Azaril. That perhaps it was the traitor's eyesight which prevented him from seeing his mistake. Once you broke your promise, for which I was disfigured. Mm. But now we're even. And Chiron agreed. Right, Chiron? Chiron, is that true? He said he would find you at any cost. I did not want it to end this way. How? How could you let it happen? How could you do that to your father? Father, I'm not responsible for what other people decide. Do you still want to be my son? Chiron! Do you want that? 
I think he will do anything to save Calandra. For that, he needs an army. The army of the Akaz. The statues which stand in Calandra's camp. I can tell you how to raise them. I want nothing in return, just a gesture. Just a small gesture, a symbol. Near the pavilion, you will find the room where your siblings grew up. The acid you now have is very potent. A few drops are sufficient to turn the incubators, from which the awakened were cut during their birth, to black mud. That will be a sign to me of which side you are on. The fact that you recognize your true destiny. You want to awaken the Akaz, those mindless fighting machines. I was there myself when Azaril did that once. Then tell me how to do it, father. That I cannot do, not anymore. I must be sure of you. Segal demands a symbol. I demand one too. In the rooms, you will find fresco showing the seven awakened in their eternal struggle. Use the acid to destroy them. That's the least I can ask of the man who wants to be my son. So you demand a second round in the battle for fatherhood, you fool. This is not about sympathy. This is about truth. Chiron will... I'll... And of course I'm going to fight. Azeroth's schemes around conception and birth of the Seven Awakened were impenetrable. Chiron knew he would never be sure which of the two men was his real father. The decision had to be made. He must either choose the man who had brought him up severely, who had protected and lied to him for years, or would he choose Sigal, who studied Zulgaroth's gifts to Chiron and knew his potential. Chiron had made his decision. The acid was flowing, and whatever it touched was reduced to debris and steaming mud. Yep, that, that looks like they did a really good job. Yep, no one will ever know what any of them means, even if you click that. Oh boy. I knew what you would decide. Without the things you taught me, I would not be standing here today. Then let us awaken this army together. This crystal can free them from their stone prison. Some splinters are missing. Azaril's cultists carry... So I get this... Good.
You're an asshole. No. Oh, I'm one point off for you. The uh, things I've just been fighting, I'm creating them all. They need more side quests before I. There won't be any because they never give you more, but. 
Only practice. And talking to Shopkeep, who is in one of these rooms. You know, he's one of many money. So how much money do I have? I have a hundred and a thousand and ninety-two gold. I still have all this crap to fucking sell. And all the other crap that I can't fucking sell. Like, I wish I could just, like, sell all my shit and just have a clean inventory. But, whatever. It's just not possible when you have max haggle, because then you sell for yourself things for max money. Which means the stores never have enough I money for you to sell your shit. decided for your father, for our past, and for me. We've waited long enough, Chiron. The night before the final battle will be ours. Come. Oh, I'll well, come on. I want you here on the ground. The whole damn monastery should hear us. My entire body longs for you. Take me now. We'll gasp with lust and pain. Our kisses will be bites. That makes no fucking sense. Whatsoever. Mm, I mean, I've gone through this entire game trying to bone her. Calandra, wake up! Chiron, I. What was that? It's over, Calandra. You, we were stronger than the gift. Chiron, it's destroying our love. It has to stop. It just has to stop. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll put an end to it. Nip, just backhand your sister instead of boning her. Chiron had long Denied. How that which began with a gentle kiss would Shit. end. Countless nights had he longed for this moment and for Calandra. Their hearts trembled. Did we still bone? And their bodies, which had craved closeness and tenderness for so very long, pressed together greedily. But they knew that Zolgoroth's gift had changed them, and that the demonic passion could destroy their love at any time. Mm -hmm. Though Azaril might command their souls, their hearts belonged to them alone. And I like how he says deny her when realistically I've fought, when accepted my love to be stronger. To an end. So I've technically not denied her. I mean, yeah, I've denied the sex. The splinters, do you have them? Yes. An army of but seriously, kisses, though, our kisses shall be bites. Who the fuck wrote this? Listen, I, knew I may be a nerd you. virgin, but even I know that makes no fucking sense. With joy, I remain forever your knight in shining armor. A fool is what you are, and a damned handsome one at that. Enough play. We still have one last battle ahead of us. We've resisted the gift together, and together we will achieve everything we want. Azaril will fall, and we, we will prevail. And so their words awaken stone to life. The Vard should have a story to tell. I'll put... Take this. Thank you. And... Yes? I love you. Oh, I can't even say I love you back. Boom. Kalindra gave you desire and gratitude for you for your not having taken advantage of her weakness and resisting the gift's compulsions. All gone. So we busted the door down, but we left a tiny little gap all the way up top. Attack!
don't you? No, they died. Essence of Hummus. Mm, hummus. Damage 2, damage 3, attack 2, endurance 4. Yeah, go on. I'll equip the uh, necklace. Thomas. Because, mmm, Thomas. Yeah, with this game, let's we'll see if I did have to play it again, it'd be one of those as well. The problem is there's no guide for this, but if I could remember, because this is the end of the game, and it's like, I know full well you need persuasion all, but obviously the one small guide thing that I've read said that you don't need it higher than that until 85% of the way through the game, but I don't think I've seen a persuasion higher than four, at least if I have it may have only been like five. So, you know, you can save all those points. Um, doing that. So, for an example... Like, if you obviously need Persuasion at 4, obviously you don't really need Haggle to be any higher, but... Um, like, you could pretty much just max out Haggle then buy this out for a couple of levels um, because obviously you'll need to buy this out to max this out and maxing this out will just pay off fast talk anyway so I don't have to waste points there perception again I don't think you need perception to be that high medicine I think you need this at four or five Obviously plant sevens exist, so I guess that's at max. Legend law, I think six is the highest I've seen. Blacksmith, the highest I've seen is seven, but that was only for one fucking location. And then pick locks, again I don't think I've seen a seven, there may have been one seven. So yeah. I could save quite a bit of stuff there to input in here if you want. woman. Finish the summoning mistress. We will hold him off. Me. No. 
No, you won't. Underestimated you. Well then. Why are you not hitting her, dude? you done silence azarel your days of seducing people are over you are defeated azarel my people are already deciphering your secret of the pact and the power you wanted to use to make us your tools that power will now bring freedom to the world calandra please listen to me one last time the seals are broken you have unleashed Sulgaroth's power Shut up, demon whore! No one believes your lies now. The era of the High Prophetess has ended. The new church will lead the world into a shining new future. Calandra, what's going on here? This battle cost us much, yet my troops are far from exhausted. The portal will take me into Moloch Mountain, the place of our awakening. From there shall the storm defeat the storm. Girl, that is madness! You do not know what you're doing! I am the greatest opener of portals! Port oh, effect Maxima! 
The next portal will deliver my army to the continent. From Razazor's golden throne will I set the demons on one another until not a single one wonders the face of Aventuria. Calandra, you are not yourself. Minions of the Heptarch, servants of the Twelve Gods, hirelings of some prince. Countless names for those who are able to hunt and enslave us far too long. But with the seals, did that bondage also break? Chiron, let us break the chains of tyranny. We are the power and the will to return the people to their freedom. We are Barbaradians. I believe in the freedom Borbarat promised, but not that we can impose it on the people. We will become tyrants ourselves. You had the sacred task of breaking the seals. We wanted to establish the new church together. What you are planning is madness. Not even you can control the demon hordes you want to call. Whose side are you on? Calandra, I will follow you anywhere, but not into this war. Whoever is not with me is against me. Me. You pass judgment on Azaril. I expect you in Moloch Mountain. Foolish child! She could have been the first paladin. Silence! You are the victor, you are right. But that won't stop Zulgaroth. He has already used you and me. Now it's Kalandra's turn. What is that supposed to mean? Do you really think I wanted to control the first paladin purely out of lust for power? Do you think me that stupid? The paladin was supposed to be a symbol for the church, young and powerful. Kalandra is a prime example of just where that mixture leads. I granted Zolgoroth much power in our sphere. My bond with the Awakened prevented the demons from controlling them. You destroyed that protection. It won't be any harmless Heshtotim that come through that portal. It's I'll kill Zulgaroth myself. So, kill me if you must. But no, with me dies the only ally you have left against him. You will live. I will be your faithful advisor. The seventh seal was the seal of the anointing. You have endowed us with a catechism. Calandra wanted us to renew the church. Thy will be done. I have something to do now. Got a damn room. Ah, oh, yeah. Zulgaroth Me speak German. The portal, only the first paladin will be able. The paladin's power can destroy the portal. But for that, then Zolgaroth shall fall through his gift. With the seals broke, the gift's compulsion to kill as well. You can now take Calandra's gift. The paladin will arise, and he will be free. And he will. You can save Aventuria. Good luck. Thanks. A bent spoon. Plain Moon Silver Blade. Ooh. Don't make me run on the way back. You're gonna make me run on the way back. Why couldn't you just leave the fucking portal in there open? I have probably one conversation and a fight left. But you wanna extend that by like five, ten minutes just to make me run all the way back, you absolute fool.
just cannot understand. But the catechism will be the most important. And we will do so with pride. Azaril costs me more than my eye. You have, and despite the demonic gift, I'm... And... Most... We're both alive. And so Chiron left the monastery, his victory over Azaril complete. First did the demon Zulgaroth turn her own pact against her, and then did she prove to be no match for those she had used as tools. Borbarad's church would survive, and the faithful would spread the new doctrine. The doctrine Chiron had conceived in the course of his bizarre visions in the monastery. Azaril's death had become meaningless, superfluous. In Zulgaroth, she and Chiron now had a common enemy. An enemy that knew how to use Calandra's ambition and her gift to open a gate into the realm of men. Chiron returned to Moloch Mountain in the company of the man he considered his father. Here, the lovers would meet again. Here, the final decision about Borbarad's paladin would be made. And when I began. first came to Arung, I thought we could lead a peaceful life here, a house, a respectable trade. The houses are burning, and I guess most of those respectable tradesmen have fallen. Calandra has already opened her gate. Azaril was right. She can't control... No, she... The gift has gone to her head. Zulgaroth has been directing her will since Azaril lost control over the gifts. I'll go to her. If we're going to have any chance against the demon, then only the two of us together. You're right. Zulgaroth could... We once wore it. Cigar? Yes. I'd lend you my weapon. Just wait here. What's middle blood ties? Oh, well, I guess now I can actually open up the uh, thing.
Yep, that's the exact one that I wanted to hit. There you go, that's the highest level that we'll go to. So that's now, I would say, oh, 69? Thanks. Um, yeah, because this doesn't level, does it? Yeah, it's passively upgradable. I guess I could put five points in this. Actually, what am I missing leveling up? Just magic, courage, and defensive. Weapon uh, points. So parrying, but I don't know if you fucking parry. So I guess. I may as well just bail out some magic in case, obviously, I need to be using it in the final fight. Because parrying wouldn't help. Again, not that I use it, but. Man! Oh, you're not dead yet! Superb! I thought all that research to be in vain. Research? Based on the results of my previous analyses of your magic powers, I made a somewhat more intense study of Borboradianism. Summoning of the entity Zulgaroth in the Prios Temple. Influences of Alhanian banishment artifacts. Very interesting. I am sure that my conclusions would make your jaw drop in amazement. In all modesty, of course. You analyze me again, Magus. Most certainly, filled with the fury of the researcher and legitimized by the merciless authority of science. You have too much time, Magus. Were you locked up again? Perhaps. But perhaps you can set aside your egocentric reservations for a moment. I mean, if you are interested in the relationships in magical theory, which could explain the appearance of a previously rarely known arch-demonic entity, or prevent... What makes you think that? Hyper-quantitative accumulation of demonic entities, no dex oriented localization. It doesn't take a genius to draw conclusions. You've got 170? I guarantee you I can't sell all my shit. Nope. Still got all this crap to sell. I've still got like another what, 15, 27, 38, 50, 56, uh, 60, oh god, where was it, 60, 61, 64, I should say 65 for that, um, 71, 79, 80, 84, 86, 
50, well, let's see, 50, 56, 59, but 99, 100, I've got like another 100 here, or whatever I just said, because I think I'm on like 99, so I've got like another 100 there to sell. Again, they're not counting all this crap. on the size these things can grow once they are open and if an entity worthy of being taken seriously wants to pass through it they'll do all they can to keep the corresponding gate open only a different equally powerful being would be able to hmm, counter that and since the probability of such an intervention closely approaches zero you will have to focus on the limbus gate itself massive discharge of temporal impensation mm. or as it is commonly called druid's revenge conclusion interspherical collapse of extraordinary dimension what gather all of the power you can find all of your spell power vitality strength of spirit concentrate all of that on the limbus gate and then to go now as you wish i wish you success chiron kick that impertinent astral parrot Chiron the Savior. I knew you'd come. The trap has sprung. Calandra will be pleased. Anyone who opposes me is Calandra's enemy as well. She ordered us to keep her free of all distractions. And you're the last person she wants to see now in the pyramid. As she is opening the Limbus Gate. She understands that she has conferred too much responsibility upon you. Too much for your little mind. The very fact that you let Azura live shows your weakness. She has you wrapped around her finger and you haven't even noticed. On a whim, you decided thousands of free spirits were to follow your moronic catechism. You are pathetic. And dispensable. You lying little scavenger. Now that Warunk burns, you just want to grab whatever you can find. Gold to buy new offices, titles to hide your incompetence. You know nothing of my mind. My skill convinced the golden Ziran and the magnificent Calandra. You're addicted to acclaim. A claim you have never earned. I will crush you. Oh, then no, no. let's get started. Nice attack, there, dude. I win.
Let her go. Calandra's soul was never part of our deal. <laughs> Silence, mortal. I am guilty you richly for your service. We are even. Her girl fulfills the destiny I gave her when she was born. Borbara, for whomever she has thrown it away on, may have her soul. But your purpose is already fulfilled. I shall pass through her gate into the next sphere, and your world. Ooh, hell. Ooh, big deal. Oh, he tiny. He will. He will baby. Oh, no. No, nope, there he is. Come on, wait with the baby.
Can I just stay and kill him? That's what I do. Unless the portal closes. He is weakened. Quick! We must close the gate. All right, I'll take your gift. Hold still. Calandra, wait. It's all my fault. I let myself be seduced. Don't stop me from making amends. You want to be the first paladin? Sacrifice yourself to throw Zulgaroth back. Chiron, I know you don't want me to sacrifice myself. You love me. It's true, I love you. I could not bear to lose you. And I know you feel the same way. However this may end, Chiron. Thank you. But today I know that neither gods nor demons can separate us, no matter if they surround us or seduce our minds. Sacrifice yourself, I don't love you. It's time for a decision. I will take your gift, and you will live on. You really want to give me this greatest of all gifts? We don't know what will happen when the first paladin arises. Maybe I'll survive. We've had a lot of bad luck up till now. Time to change that. You... Oh, you're a fool. Farewell, Chiron. I will always love you. Always. Of course I can guarantee I can kill that bastard myself. By just going... Oh god. Their 3D version, or not 3D, but their pre-rendered versions aren't great. It is nice that his head, whatever it is, is on those tentacle things. I win? Question mark? You're gonna roll credit. I think you are right me. Why would you just roll credit? You're not gonna tell me about anything what happened post game? Really? Nope. No post game anything. Well, there you go. Actually, where's my continue? Because I could probably tell her to sacrifice herself and get a. If I have to do the whole fight again, I'm not doing that. If it's post fight, then I'll tell her she can sacrifice herself. No, it's pre fight. I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah, if it was post fight, I'd tell her suck first, so I'll just get the fucking achievement out of the way. Played Demonicon through all Nether Hellish. Yeah, right. 250 potions or poisons used, I've used 60. No. Played Demonicon through without using a single healing potion. Yeah, right then. Not on hard. I'm assuming they'll stack, but. And then seven hidden, those, those will be the decisions, so like, choosing the other guys, your father, probably burning the thing, killing the woman. Her sacrificing, actually, what would that be? Her sacrificing, killing the woman, burning the book, choosing the father, that's four. Um, one that would have to do with siding with the cartel or something. So that's five. I can't remember any of the sort of major decisions in this game that would... Maybe killing her. Then siding with him, potentially. But eh, either way. Anyway, that's obviously, uh, Don't I Demonicon. Uh, pretty good game. I mean, if you ignore me making it hard for myself by choosing all the bloody other shit over leveling up health and damage and whatnot, but it all worked out in the end. Chiron, 
The game wasn't so hard to the point where it was impossible, but you could it had its annoying moments, but that was all me. Can you shut up for a minute? Yeah, sorry. Dark Eye Demonicon. Um, I guess I could look into the other games. I know there's one other game I think that was released around this time. Or after, I don't remember. I'd have to look it up again. Because uh, if they're anything like this, I guess the series won't be too bad to look into. I know the older you get, the worse they might get, but... Yeah, we'll see. But, um, I guess in terms of YouTube, hope you enjoyed. But, um, yeah. Dark Eye Demonicon. Thoroughly enjoyed it, and, um... Will I play it again and be a massive arsehole? Who knows. If I do, I will. Until then, until then, until then.